Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Today's the big day. I already got notification that both the camera and the cards are delivered. I'm heading there now to get those, then going to the chiropractor. But the other big thing today is the snowstorm that hit Virginia Beach. Storm one that is. Let's, let's take a look. All city buildings closed today. Probably schools. Welcome to Virginia Beach. Let's go get a camera. All right, picked up the camera, picked up the cards. If you can see behind me there, that box on the top, that ridiculously big box for two tiny little SD cards, that kind of shit cracks me up. Why would you put that in there? They're, they're little SD cards. Uh, but okay, that was that was my amusement for the day. I'm now on my way to the chiropractor. I'm trying to get in there before she closes at noon so I can get myself cracked. I just haven't felt right for the past, definitely this week, and I'm gonna go get that done right now. Then I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna unbox this stuff, and we're gonna play. But for now, I'm just gonna shut this off because I feel like scream singing. And no, you can't watch. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna start cutting this shit open. Couple of things. I don't know what this is. Oh, look at that. It's the screen protectors. They weren't supposed to be here until next week. Sweet. Now the only thing I'm waiting on is the small rig cage, which will take forever to get here. This, I'm gonna show you. This is just absolute ridiculousness. This big ass box, is the SD cards. I've had lenses that were wrapped in less than this. Prograde V90 cards, 256 gigabytes each. Ah. And now the big kahuna. Remember to cut away from yourselves, kids. Here it is. The Sony a7 IV with kit lens, 28 to 70. Hmm. That's the cable, all the paperwork strap which will never be touched, Z battery, skimpy pathetic plug. Ooh, already feels good in the hand. Okay, here's the kit lens. This actually feels pretty substantial. I'm gonna put my glasses on so I can see. All right, so the lens looks nice, looks clean. Looks like it's never been put on a camera before. And for a brief few moments, no dust. All right, then we got the camera itself. No marks on the screen. All the flappy things work. No scratches, so it doesn't look as if anything's been put in. One of the things that I was watching last night, I was watching a Jason Vong video about this camera, and he's absolutely right. One of the things that always drives me crazy, and it's one of the first things that I remove, are these little rings that are supposed to hold the strap in place. I mean, I'm gonna take them off anyways, because I'm gonna put the cage on and things screw into it, but they did make these so that there's no, there's no movement, they don't flap around because those damn things make a lot of noise. Okay, so before everything gets crazy dusty in here and all that kind of stuff, I'm gonna put a screen protector on the screen, pop this battery on a charger and grab a fresh one. And then we're gonna play. As it stands right now, I have everything I need to get going with this camera. So I'm gonna be playing around with it all weekend and trying to figure out how the hell to use it properly, which is going to be a long time in, in the learning phase, but at least I've got it, yay. But for now, it's time to go play. <laughs> okay, kids, I'm in love. I'm in love with this camera. It is absolutely amazing. I just spent the last hour going through, I put on the screen protector, which went on flawlessly, and hopefully it stays that way. I put one of my already charged batteries in, and then I have been going through line by line, piece by piece, each menu item. It's unbelievably overwhelming. There's so much stuff in here to set. So I basically put things on and adjusted it the way that I want it for now so that I could start recording. So I have it on picture profile 11, which is S Cinetone. And I look amazing if I do say so myself. It looks fantastic. All the colors are, are banging behind me and all around and they look great. 
I, for the time being, because I don't have the cage, I put the, uh, the, the PGY Tech plate on there so it doesn't spin, but then I put it on the switch pod because I need a little bit more reach. Why? Because I have focus compensation on an active stabilization and that's the way that's going to stay. So it's not that I, I, I couldn't get a lot in here, but I'm just trying it out on the switch pod, uh, you know, just because it does have more reach. Now, one of the things that I'm finding very amusing is that I have the eye autofocus on and once I finally got that figured out and have it so that the, the little box is on, the little box is on my eye, but because I have these little skeletons behind me and they all have eyes, there is a secondary box trying to, you know, get that into focus if I wasn't prioritized. <laughs> so funny, my little skeletons. Right off the bat, I have this now set to 4K, XAVCS, 4K, 24P, I have it on 422, 10-bit, 100 megabits, auto white balance, auto focus, continual, the full spot metering with center priority and all that shit, auto focus is on. It's at 150th, of course. Right now I have it at f1.8, no exposure compensation. I never use that. I might have to remap that dial and it's on ISO 400. I do have the audio stuff on the screen and it's picking me up. As it stands right now, I don't know what this is gonna do because half the video was on the A7C, which has now been switched over to my street camera setup and the I mean it was set up for 8-bit blah 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 and I was doing all of my editing on my MacBook Air M1 with no problems but now that I've got this big kahuna going on here and set up the way that it's set up it, it everything is going to be a crapshoot on whether it's going to handle it all because half the footage is now going to be on the new camera but I think it looks fantastic it's amazing my cat is flipping it shit again because I have the door closed so why don't we test out the old uh, active stabilization here and walk through the house and open the door so he doesn't have a heart attack. And there he is right there. He's like, open the door, open the door, go get me drinkies. I'm not going in there. Now I'm gonna spin it around so it's on me. And I think there's plenty of me in the in the picture, in the weight here. The way that I've got this is so that my elbow is on my love handle, and then I'm holding this down here, just where it comfortably sits, and it is working just fine. I autofocus. Meowing cat. Now we're gonna hit the steps. And it, I can already tell you that it looks excellent. Do, do, do. The standard switching of hands. Now it's in my right hand. Now back up the stairs. Okay, without obviously pulling this over onto the computer and looking at it, I can tell you that it looks pretty good on the little screen. The one thing, like there's just, there's no perfect like handle grip or whatever. It, it doesn't exist, the perfect grip. They all have their advantages and disadvantages. So the switch pod, excellent grip little bit further reach, sits up high, I got a ball head, I can move it around if I need to, which I don't like to do too much. This thing though is very convenient because you know you've got this right here so you can you can move this back and forth as you need to. It's grippy, it, it you know has even grips on the little feet so to speak here so when you set it down it stays down. It is a little tricky because you can accidentally hit one lever and, and make it fall over and all that kind of shit. 
I'll have to decide again what I'm gonna do. Uh, a lot will change once I get the cage. Well, not a lot will change. I'll just have a cage and I'll feel more comfortable about it. But for now, this is amazing. I love it. As far as playing with it, again, I'm gonna have a huge learning curve with the menus. Right now, I'm gonna have so many options to go through, especially for the function menu because that's got shit on there. I don't even know what it is. It's not the way that I'm used to having it set up. So I'll probably have to pull out the A7C and go through it and see how I have that set up because I have that set up pretty much for exactly what I need to do for filming. And then it, it'll be a living thing. It's constantly gonna be changing. And then as far as the, the camera, the picture itself, like on the screen, looks fantastic. The colors look amazing and, and actual S Cinetone instead of the fake S Cinetone that I use on everything, and it, it feels great. Right now, I, I mean, the grip feels a little warm, just almost as if someone had been holding it for a while, but it doesn't feel hot. I changed that setting to high, so I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with it. I'm always gonna have the screen open, and that seems to be uh, a very big thing that you need to do, especially if you're shooting those higher 4K codecs, and I'm not gonna be so, probably won't bother me too much. The 20 millimeter lens is gonna live on here pretty much. That's the lens that I've used since I got it for filming. All right, I'm not gonna drag this out. This was just the quick unboxing of everything, show you what I got, show you how excited I am, and then get the settings going enough to get filming. And now I'm gonna pop all this stuff off onto the M1 and see how it works. But that's pretty much it. This is just my initial thoughts and my excitement, again, about getting this, this camera today. So going forward, I'll be using this camera to do all my filming. And, and then of course, at some point when it's not freezing as cold out and, and if it does start snowing, then I will be uh, trying out the photography portion of it as well, especially since it has bird eye autofocus. And if you follow me, you know I'm a huge birder. So we'll see how that works out. But for now, that's it, I'm gonna go and play, and I need to eat something because I'm pretty hungry, so that's all you get for today. So far, I will say everything, the cards, the screen protector, the camera, gets the monkey seal of approval. So, that's all I've got for you for today, for now. You're gonna see a lot more about this going forward, but again, monkey seal of approval, I'm stoked. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe, and remember kids, forward and up.